the Black Hills of South Dakota. Many of your favorite activities take place in these hills, whether it be fishing, hiking, biking, or anything else that ends with an ink. You probably want to continue with your activity for the rest of your life, but there is one problem. The hills are in danger of being destroyed by us humans. We are not doing this on purpose. We live our everyday lives not thinking about how our actions affect our environment. Luckily, we can stop this. It starts by knowing what is important in keeping the Black Hills healthy, the plants and animals. We live in a fragile ecosystem. Every plant and animal plays a big part. If one of them became extinct, we'd all would be in very big trouble. Remember, the simplest thing like an insect is very important. That insect is dinner for a frog that could be lunch for a nearby fish. That fish then could be eaten by you. If that species of insect did not exist, then the frog would lose its main food and would die out. The fish would also really hurt since there would be no frogs to eat. No frogs would mean no fish, which means you no know, supper for us. So to keep the black hills safe, we need to keep the animals safe too. Birds of prey are especially important to the ecosystem. They help keep balance. The diet of these birds are mainly rabbits and small rodents. You are probably asking yourself, why does it matter that birds of prey eat rodents? It's because they are at the top of the food chain. If they were not here, then there would be way too many rodents. The problem is that there is not enough food for all of them. Our ecosystem would be in chaos. The bird of prey is very important for us to protect. That's why the Raptor Center of the Black Hills teaches education on birds of prey. If we know what we need to protect, then we can take steps to protect it. The Raptor Center is all volunteers trying to make the world a better place. We currently have four birds. Boo, the western screech owl, Elise, the red-tailed hawk, Icarus, the great horned owl, and Hendrix, the American kestrel. You can find these four species in our Black Hills. We love our birds and not one is forgotten. They all come to our presentations with us. Elise, the red-tailed hawk, has been in over a thousand presentations. Keep in mind, these are still wild birds. They don't like being touched by strangers. So do us all a favor and remember to show these birds proper classroom respect so not to frighten them. Even though these birds are wild, they can't survive in nature. Since they are imprinted by humans, they are used to being fed. So if, you, if put back in the wilderness, they would not know what to do. The Black Hills are home to us all. We all need to put in our part to keep the hills safe. We owe it all to the animals. They were here long before any of us.